Hi folks, Canadian Prepper here. So today we're going to talk about three new pieces of gear out of dozens of new things that we have at CanadianPreparedness.com which are going to be very useful for camping, survival, and emergency preparedness. So let's check it out. Alright, so the first thing I want to show you is this Nalgene stainless steel water bottle. Now the cool thing about this, uh, a lot of these stainless steel, this is surgical grade stainless steel for the record, uh, a lot of these containers you can't put them on the coals or on a fire directly because it's not seamless or it's two pieces um, that are fused together or it might be double walled. Uh, obviously if you have a grill or if you want to cook in this, if you have a camp stove system, a butane stove or a multi-fuel stove. This is just a great multi-use water container for cooking, drinking water, drinking coffee, hot beverages, boiling water to purify it. The capacity of the bottle is a little over one liter. It weighs 350 grams, so it's got a lot of good weight to it. In my opinion, this is probably the best water bottle Nalgene has to offer, and it's a very multi-use item for bushcrafters and outdoor enthusiasts so check it out canadianpreparedness.com and it's also very well priced at $29.99 USD. So this item that you see here this is the Geiger Rig pressurized uh, hydration bladder. Now to have a pressurized water system that's portable and that doesn't require any power source it's manually powered by a pump so you get this bulb they call it the uh, power bulb and if you simply add pressure to the pump by pumping up the, the bag. Basically, it's a double-walled bag. One bag contains air, one bag contains water. The more air you put in the one side, the more pressure the water is gonna have in being released. Now, the reason why you might want something like this, as shown here, I'm sharing my water with my dog. I obviously don't want my dog drinking from the same uh, water spout that I do. Some people don't mind that. I personally don't wanna do that. Or if you just wanna share your water with friends, can obviously serve a function for washing things down um, and of course it can serve a function for irrigating wounds so there's some first aid applications here as well so this is probably one of the best water bladders on the market in my opinion there's a lifetime warranty it also is compatible with the Aquamira frontier filter inline filtration system which is kind of similar to the move eclipse system in that it's modular it's a multi-filter system, so you can attach the filter to the bladder, and then you could use different types of filters. So there's a bacterial filter, there's a virus filter, uh, there's a carbon filter. So if you just want to filter out the bad taste and the chemicals, you'd use the carbon filter. Uh, if you want to filter out viruses, which in most cases in North America, you don't need it. But in my opinion, it's always good to, to have it there just as a backup, just in case. Now this water bladder will fit in most hydration packs and obviously most backpacks but if you want to buy a backpack which is specifically made for this you actually get a Geiger Rig included. There's two models you can get off CanadianPreparedness.com. One is the Geiger Rig Rig Bando. Um, Bando it's kind of like a sling bag and maybe this is something for everyday urban commuting. Be a good EDC bag it would be a good biking bag and of course you have your built-in hydration system within that and we also have the tactical g5 rig 1600 pack which is a slightly larger backpack which is a standard backpack configuration lots of pockets lots of compartmentalization molly webbing and with the tactical g5 you get the geiger rig two liter water bladder and you also get a filter ready um, frontier filter pump and you also get a filter housing so all you have to do with that one is just buy uh, individual water filters all right so what you're seeing here this is the silky gunman saw i meant to do a dedicated review of this saw. i just haven't had the time to do it basically it's a takedown fixed blade saw so it's not going to be full tang like the zubat or the segoy or the sugawaza or some of those other kick-ass fixed blade saws that i've reviewed on the channel but it is a takedown saw, so you can, you know, carry multiple blades if you wanted to. Um, not that you need to, because silky blades are usually pretty good. Uh, most people have had positive experiences with their longevity and how long they maintain their sharpness. This is going to be nickel coated for corrosion resistance. 
and hopefully in the future they're going to release more blades i can't say that for sure but uh i've tried to convince them to to make different blades for different wood sizes i believe the one we sell is a large tooth so it's going to be it's going to be good all around but for the harder woods uh, a finer tooth would be beneficial so so the reasons for having a saw like this over a folder is because ergonomically speaking a fixed blade is going to be much easier to use on your hand and if silky does eventually put out some other blades for this that's going to be awesome because you're going to have quick interchangeable blades this is all american preppers favorite saw as you could probably imagine because of the form factor but if you're interested in one of these check them out at canadianpreparedness.com and needless to say, it cuts wood faster than any other brand of saw on the market. So there's a ton of other amazing pieces of gear that I want to show off on the channel in the near future. I got Survival Lily's new Apple One Knife that I'm going to do a dedicated review on. I have a multi-fuel stove which takes any type of uh, liquid fuel, which is a lot different than your standard isobutane type stove. This is uh, an award-winning stove by MSR. We're also going to be checking out the MSR Guardian water filtration system, which is a military grade water filtration system meant for large groups and really is the standard for water filtration around the world. Now, the other water filtration systems that you see me review on this channel, like the Move Eclipse um, water filtration by Renovo or like this one here, the Geiger Rig, those are all really good water filters for individuals or for small groups of people. But if you want a water filter for a much larger group of people, we're going to be talking about some options um, for water storage and also for large scale water purification. I've already shown you the Berkey water filtration system on the channel, which is a very practical water filtration system for everyday use. But anyways, more on that later. Let me know if you have any questions about these products in the comment section below. You can get yourself 10% off uh, these products through CanadianPreparedness.com by inputting the coupon code SURVIVALPREPPER at checkout. Go check them out. Thanks for watching Canadian Prepper Out. The best way to support this YouTube channel is to support yourself by gearing up through CanadianPreparedness.com or BugOutRoll.ca. Premium quality gear at the best possible price using the incredibly secure and easy to use Shopify platform. We offer free shipping to the United States for orders over $200 USD and free shipping to Canada over $75. So support the channel by supporting yourself.